ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful All praise is due to Allah And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions And all of his followers until the day of resurrection I welcome you to this new episode from the series Glimpses from the fragment uh, prophetic biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. I will continue what I uh, already started with uh, regarding the conquest of Mecca. Now when the Prophet peace be upon him prepared everything and moved towards this because of the uh, 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 betrayal of the covenant between Quraysh and the Prophet peace be upon him. So he wanted to enter Mecca in peace. He wanted not to have a fight. He wanted to uh, re-establish uh, the house of Allah, the Kaaba, to be clean from all the uh, idols that were uh, added in uh, worship of these idols and, and stones and, and other things that uh, people uh, were, were actually uh, uh, doing, uh, committing this violation of the uh, uh, message of Islam, which is uh, to worship Allah alone and not to take uh, any partners with him, not to associate anything with him. So. The Prophet, peace be upon him, when he uh, sat in Marr al-Dahran, or what we know today as Al-Jamum, he wanted to move. And now uh, in the morning uh, where uh, the Prophet ﷺ was about to move inside Mecca, Abu Sufyan came after he was inspecting. He came and he uh, accepted Islam with Al-Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib, the uh, uh, ankle of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And then he, uh, uh, he let him... Uh, stand at the turn of the valley there in that area just to check and see all these different battalions led by great leaders from the uh, from the Muslim uh, uh, arm, army uh, leaders and and uh, tribal leaders and uh, he was he was really amazed uh, at this strength uh, then Sa'd ibn Ubada, uh, or Sa'd, yes, came uh, and, and said, today is the day of fierce fighting and uh, the day where we are going to uh, violate the sanctuary and the sanctity of Mecca. The Prophet ﷺ, when hearing this, said, no, today is the day, because that's, he said, today is the day when Allah will humiliate Quraysh. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, no, today is the day when the Kaaba is going to be uh, 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 glorified and uh, Quraysh will be uh, uh, in, in higher status um, and not be humiliated. And the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, took uh, Sa'd uh, away from leadership and he assigned his son, Qais, to lead that battalion and then uh, uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, wanting to satisfy Abu Sufyan because he was a leader, he was very, very important, significant leader in, uh, in uh, Mecca. He said, uh, uh, whoever enters the uh, house of Abu Sufyan, then he is secure. Whoever enters his house and locks his door upon him, he is secure and safe. And whoever enters Al-Masjid Al-Haram, then he is uh, safe and secure. Uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, divided the army into three uh, sections. One section led by Az-Zubayr ibn al-Awwam, where he came from the area of Kada, and that is known as Al-Hujun, west of Mecca. And the second one came from the south, led by Khalid ibn uh, and, uh from Kuday. And then the third one was led by the Prophet, peace be upon him, and came from the north, from what they call it Al-Adhakhir or Ri'a Dhakhir, as until today is known as Ri'a Dhakhir. So they all came to enter Mecca in that respect. And uh, the uh, uh, Quraysh and uh, people there could not face this army. They, th they thought that it was possible. 
uh, they put some small groups uh, like uh, in, in Jabal al-Kaaba, uh, in Kuday, they, they uh, uh, had a small uh, uh, little uh, a group of uh, 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 people with, with some arms uh, by Ikrima and Safwan and Suhail, but actually it was near, near the Kaaba, not far away from Al-Masjid Al-Haram, but then uh, how could they face this? Well, no, as soon as they, they heard and saw the army and the news came to them, they just entered their houses and locked themselves up. But some of them actually because of the terrible uh, 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 things they did against the Prophet and against the Muslims and the persecution they committed uh, against uh, the companions, actually they knew that the Prophet might might retaliate. So they said, well, we're going to escape. Uh, Safwan went away. Ikrima ibn Abi Jahl also went away. They were not Muslims at that time. And uh, the, uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, please enter without having any fighting, no resort to fighting because uh, it's, it's going to be a, a peaceful uh, entrance into, into Mecca. Now, uh, the uh, section with Al-Zubair and the section with the Prophet, peace be upon him, entered peacefully. Now, uh, Khalid, when entering from the south, found a bit of resistance there, so he used, uh, he, he got into some fighting but uh, it was, it was uh, very little and nothing major took place and everyone gathered in Al-Masjid Al-Haram and you can imagine all these people coming from uh, different places, uh, from different areas of Mecca. They, uh, the Prophet peace be upon him because of being humble and thankful of Allah, his head was touching the back of his Camel, because he is uh, really uh, very, very humble before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore, he, he was thankful. He, he used uh, an, a, a bow in his, in his hand and he uh, entered the Kaaba and he was kicking all of these uh, uh, idols uh, being erected around the Kaaba. And he uh, was reciting... Uh, the ayah وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا And say the truth has come and falsehood has gone and verily falsehood uh, will not stand by, by the truth. Then he entered the uh, house of Umm Hani bint Abi Talib. Uh, she gave him uh, a very dry bread uh, and then he uh, broke it into water and he ate it, alayhi salatu wasalam. He prayed eight rak'ahs in her house. And then as a, as a, as a, a thankful uh, sign to, to thank Allah for what he did. And then uh, uh, when uh, he actually, uh, uh, people started to come to him to ask for uh, forgiveness because of uh, what happened to them. Uh, Safwan and Ikrima went away, but some of their own relatives mediated for them, like uh, the wife of Ikrima asked for forgiveness for her husband. Then uh, she went after him to bring him back when he was uh, about to leave uh, the area of Mecca to, to, to migrate from Mecca. And finally, he came back and he and the Prophet ﷺ welcomed him and said, do not say anything about his own father because his, his own father, as you know, uh, died in the, in, in the battle of Badr. So he said, do not mention this because it's, it's no, of no benefit and it will hurt him. Uh, so he wanted to keep his feeling uh, well. Safwan also uh, uh, asked someone by the name of Umair al-Jumahi to intervene uh, to at least uh, give him uh, some uh, uh, protection for two months uh, or security for two months. And he asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he said, not only two months, but you have four months. And therefore, he accepted Islam. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the one who actually, uh, another one like Abdullah ibn Sa'd ibn Abi Sarh, uh, uh, actually who became a Muslim, then he uh, uh, actually uh, turned away from Islam and became a non-Muslim, but he is a foster brother of Uthman ibn Affan. Uthman ibn Affan uh, interceded for him uh, in order to be forgiven, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam forgave him, and uh, uh, and he was he was safe and he came back. Now, 
the Prophet peace be upon him asked Bilal ibn Rabah uh, anhu, to make adhan for dhuhr and he made adhan and he uh, and of course some of them were not happy as, as of Quraysh but some Muslims were, were very very happy and the Prophet peace be upon him uh, delivered a big great sermon and he said uh, to them O Quraysh what do you think I'm going to do with you? Well, they said, you, uh, you know, good. We expect good from you. You are uh, a, a generous and kind uh, uh, brother and a kind uh, uh, and, and, a, and a, a nephew of, of a kind uh, brother. And you are now in power. So uh, you can do whatever you, uh, you, you like. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, well, I'm going to say to you what Yusuf Peace be upon him said to his uh, own brothers, لا تثريب عليكم اليوم يغفر الله لي ولكم وهو أرحم الراحمين. He said, uh, uh, there is no blame upon you today. Allah forgives you and Allah is the most merciful among those who are merciful. And he said, اذهبوا فأنتم الطلقاء. Go, you are so free. So he let them go and uh, uh, then he took the uh, key of the Kaaba uh, and, and entered the Kaaba and started to uh, bring down all of the images that were hanged on the walls of the Kaaba. Then he gave the key of the Kaaba to Uthman ibn Talha and he said, take it for you and your own uh, uh, offsprings uh, forever and it will not take in be, uh, from you except by someone who is unjust. So it has been in, in that family from that time until today, and inshallah will stay until the day of judgment. So that is uh, the uh, uh, promise of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, sent uh, various uh, uh, groups uh, of Muslims to invite the various tribes uh, around Mecca, and he uh, sent some of them to destroy all of these uh, idols that were set, like Al-Uzza, he sent Khalid ibn Walid to, to tear it down, to uh, Khalid ibn Sa'id ibn al-As to Urana, Hisham ibn al-As uh, towards Yalamlam, Sa'd ibn Zayd towards uh, Manat, uh, Amr ibn al-As towards uh, Suwa'a. All of this, they, 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 they broke all these idols and the Prophet peace be upon him stayed for 15 nights in Mecca, shortening the prayer and uh, 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 the Prophet, peace be upon him, organized all the matters of, uh, of Mecca, where he assigned Atab ibn Usaid as a governor of, uh, of Mecca uh, when he went out to Hunayn. Uh, and then he uh, assigned also Abu Mah Aba Mahdura uh, as the uh, Mu'addin or caller for, for prayer in the uh, uh, Al-Masjid Al-Haram, the uh, uh, sacred masjid or mosque. And he asked Mu'adh ibn Jabal to be the uh, faqih and the teacher in, uh, in Al-Haram to teach people. And then uh, after uh, uh, Abu Musa Al-Ash'ari returned from Taif, he, uh, he uh, again asked him to join uh, Mu'adh ibn Jabal as a teacher in Al-Haram. He uh, sent someone to assign the uh, uh, boundaries of Al-Haram. The, the, where are, where is the, the boundaries of the, of the sanctuary of Mecca? And then uh, he said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited uh, Mecca from being inviolable and uh, uh, only he permitted me one, uh, you know, one hour from uh, uh, a day only to fight if there is then Mecca is back again to its own sacred uh, uh, situation now we can understand from all of this what the Prophet peace be upon him did he uh, he actually emphasized the sanctity the sanctity of Mecca and he uh, actually with this kind of uh, conquest everything went well and people left uh, were left with all the good things, um, you know, having Islam being spread and, and, and well established by the conquest of Mecca. And the Prophet ﷺ showed his own humbleness by 
coming down in Mecca uh, in, in almost in the in, in the uh, uh, position of sujood over his the back of his animal, and he uh, actually uh, broke all the idols around the Kaaba and in the images inside inside the Kaaba and uh, all the idols around uh, the Arabian uh, uh, Peninsula, particularly around Mecca, where the Arabs used to be in t to, to worship these idols. So that really gave us the strength and the importance of the conquest of Mecca. This concludes our uh, uh, talk about Mecca and its conquest, and I will continue uh, with more in the coming episodes on the, sa on the, the series Glimpses from the Fragment Prophetic Biography of al barat Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Until then, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما